Right, so there's a boxing event in Nottingham this weekend, yeah? A world title fight between Lee Ward and Conlon. But, you know, a few days before the fight, you know, these couple of YouTube lowlifes, you know, they started, like, trying to get into it, you know, trying to get hype, you know, those two fucking YouTube lowlifes. They're basically, like, right at the bottom, you know, of the YouTube ladder. So they're, like, they hang around boxing events, you know, trying to get hype going on, trying to get some fucking clout you know trying to go viral in the boxing world you know so they can get out of the mud that guy there with the fucking tracksuit bottoms and the leather jacket you know he's called pork and he's a little shit youtuber and he's having a little confrontation with another little shit youtuber called michael yeah so they're both rock bottom in the youtube world and they're trying to climb up you know so they can get out of the mud yeah, so they're trying to like create a bit of hype, you know, having a little altercation with each other. You know, it's fucking cringing, it's desperate. They're desperate, they're trying to climb up the ladder, aren't they? You know, so they can get out of the mud. Look at Porky, like, turning around to make sure the camera's rolling as well. It's desperate, isn't it? You know, and Coogan's there, you know, telling them to be safe and all that. Be safe. So what do you think of that? They're both kind of desperate, aren't they? But, you know, Pork, he's higher up than that fucking Michael. That Emperor Michael. You know, that Pork, you know, he kind of got a bit of hype, didn't he? You know, for like exposing Dave Caldwell. He kind of got a bit of attention, didn't he? You know, when he uh, kind of exposed Dave Caldwell for turning the heating up. You know, so the little kids would take off their pants. That's what he kind of exposed, didn't he? That pork. So he's kind of higher up, you know, than that fucking Michael. So I don't know why he's even entertaining it. I don't even know why I'm talking about it myself. You know, that fucking Emperor Michael, yeah? He got a little bit of hype about 10 years ago. You know, when Tyson Fury spoke about him in an interview with Coogan. You know, Tyson Fury and Kel Brook, they had a bit of beef, you know, about 10 years ago. And it was kind of about this fucking Muppet here, this Michael. You know, he sometimes calls himself Apollo James Jackson. You know, he's a fucking creep, boy. Listen to this. You were having some words about Kel Brook the other day. Yes, I did that. He, oh. <laughs> he may be here today. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm not saying he would care, but I'm just uh, saying. No, it was... Um, I only sent him a video to say, check it out. And um, he said... Uh, it was the Apollo James Jackson when he knocked me out video. Yeah. I sent everybody the video, yeah, linked it, linked it to everybody I could think of, yeah. And um, he went, why would I want to watch that when I can watch it for real on the uh, 28th of September? Which I didn't ask for that, did I? Okay. I'll... I didn't say Kel Brook's a knobhead, which he is, but I didn't say that. I just said, can you have a look at the video? It like take you tweeted it. everyone. Everybody. It wasn't a special like, oh, Kel Brook. But then he tweets that shit back and uh, set off the... Twitter King, because when it comes to slagging, he ain't going to beat me, because he's intellectually thicker than I am. So this fucking Michael guy here, he got a bit of hype, you know, 10 years ago, but he didn't build on it at all, yeah? And he's kind of like vanished into irrelevance, yeah? For 10 years, he's like been irrelevant. He hasn't done anything. He didn't build on that little bit of hype that he got from Tyson Fury talking about him. So now he's seen people like Coogan and Michelle Horphelps, you know, and he's seeing them grow, you know, in that 10 year period, you know, when he's been fucking irrelevant. So now he's trying to like come on the scene again, you know, trying to get a bit of hype by putting it on pork. You know, in that 10 year period, like when he just fucking vanished. He's seen like Coogan and Horphelps, you know, step up in their little careers and progress and build up their channels. So 10 years on, this fucking Michael, you know, he's desperate and like, you know, Dillian White here, you know, when he was supposed to box in London a few months ago, 
I went down to London, you know, to watch the fight. Dillian, he didn't end up boxing in the end, but I went down to London, did a few videos and that. And this fucking Michael guy, yeah, he's seen, he's seen my videos and he, he knew I was in London in it. So he kept like messaging me, you know, asking to meet up. He kept messaging me, you know, messaging me, messaging me. So eventually I said, all right, let's meet up in Starbucks. So we met up in Starbucks, yeah, and he was like fucking cringe, man. He was like, he was making me fucking cringe. You know, the way he was talking, he was like saying, you know, because he's been irrelevant for 10 years and he's desperate to get on the scene. He's basically, he's like a builder. He works on a building site, yeah, in some shit job on a building site, standing in the cold for 10 hours a day, picking up bricks and he fucking hates it. So he's desperately trying to become a big time YouTuber. So, you know, when I was in Starbucks with him, he said to me, if I interview KSI and Logan Paul and I ask him some really controversial questions, I'll become famous. And I said, mate, fuck you now, how old are you? How old are you? You're fucking in your thirties. And he kept saying it as well. He kept saying, if I interview this person or if I spar with KSI, I'll become famous. And I was like, mate, you're fucking making me cringe, man. And I really fucking felt sorry for him. I really like pitied him, you know, and he kept saying, I, if I interview KSI, I'll become famous. I was starting to really fucking feel sorry for him. You know what I mean? Like he's so fucking desperate for validation. And we were sat next to the window, you know, in Starbucks. And like people were walking by, yeah. And he said, if I interview KSI and ask him some really controversial questions, I'll become famous. And these people walking by, they'll come into Starbucks and ask me for a photo. And I was like, oh, I can't be doing this anymore. I need to get out of here. This is fucking making me cringe, man. I need to get out of here. You know, the desperation in his fucking voice about desperately trying to become famous. And you can see that there, you know, him trying to put it on pork, you know, turning up to a boxing event, trying to get clout and hype and all that stuff. It's fucking cringe, man. You know, Nipsey Hussle, he's from a country called Eritrea yeah, in Africa. And that's where that Michael's from. So that fucking Michael, he said, if I go back to my country, Eritrea, and I interview the president and ask him some really controversial questions, I'll become famous. And I was like, mate, can you just fucking stop saying that? You, you're making me fucking cringe, man. You're fucking making me cringe with all this fucking, I want to be famous talk. You know, you're fucking making me cringe here, you know. You're really fucking annoying me with this talk with his famous talk. And in the end, I was like, you know what, mate, I'm going to get out of here, you know, because he wanted to interview me, innit? But I was like, no, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get out of here, man. I just, I'm not really feeling this energy. I'm not really feeling this vibe. So I said, I'm going to get out of here, you know. See you later. And I started to walk out of Starbucks. And he, like, started to follow me, yeah? And he was like, okay, okay, look, I respect what you're saying. No problem. And I'll leave you to it, but just, just let me know, uh, do you want me to stop contacting you in the future? And I said, yeah, just leave it, mate. Just fucking leave it in it. Just do what you're doing, but just, yeah, just, just leave it. And he was like, okay, then. And he gave me like a little fist bump. And then he went off and I just thought, what a fucking moppet, man. What a desperate fucking moppet. A fucking fame hungry little fucker. So now he's trying it with his pork. You know, turning up at boxing events, trying to go viral, trying to become famous. You know, he's cringe, man. And he's in his 30s as well. And he's like, he interviewed me years ago. And he's never fucked a woman or a man. Yeah. He's a virgin. And he's got like a childish mentality. So that's a bit suspicious, isn't it? That is a bit suspect. You know, when someone's in their 30s, and they've never fucked a woman or a man. You know, they might have just like avoided sex because they might be religious and they don't want to commit sins and fornicate and, you know, upset God, you know, if they're religious and that. 
but he's not. He's, he hasn't had sex with a man or a woman yet because he's a bit suspect, I'm telling you. And he's got like a childish mentality as well. He's like a little kid. So you know what I'm trying to say, and you know what I'm trying to say. He's never fucked a woman or a man and he acts like a kid and he's in his 30s. So you know what I'm saying, innit? So this guy is a creep, man. He's a fucking creep. And when I was in Starbucks with him, he said, when I see Coogan, I'm going to tell him to come down that alleyway and I'm going to really put it on him because I don't like the way he looks at me. You know what I mean? It's like, mate, just fucking grow up, man. Yeah, you've never fucked a woman or a man. And you're in your 30s and you're acting fucking like a kid. You know, you're acting suspect. You need to... You need to watch your kids around him, I'm telling you. This guy's fucking weird, man. Creepy guy. He's got them little glasses on as well. He's like fucking Jimmy Savile, isn't he? Yeah? You see the similarities there, can't you? He's like the fucking black Jimmy Savile. In them little creepy glasses. Like, I'm telling you, this guy's weird, man. Strange guy. You need to watch your kids around him, I'm telling you. This guy's fucking weird, man. And you know this guy here, yeah, yeah. His name's James Jackson, but he calls himself Michael Jackson. You know, that's even more suspect, isn't it? That's even more fucking creepier, isn't it? You know, calling himself Michael Jackson. You know, we've seen the little documentaries about Michael Jackson, you know, about him fucking, you know, sleeping with kids and that. You know, we've fucking seen the documentaries, haven't we? So this little fucking creepy little fucker who's never fucked a man or a woman, who's in his 30s, who has got a childish mentality, calls himself Michael Jackson and looks up to Michael Jackson. It's creepy, isn't it? That is fucking creepy and really, really suspicious, isn't it? It's not good, is it? I don't even like talking about him. He's like irrelevant. He's so far down. Like he's such a he's such a low life. He's on such a low level, you know, in the YouTube world. He's not relevant at all. You know, me talking about him, it's like a step down and it? it's like me taking a step backwards, if you know what I mean. It's, It's like a step down for me, you know what I mean? This guy's a clown, isn't it? And this guy's a fucking low life, you know, reaching. You know, reaching out for clout. So I don't know why I'm even talking about him, but it's just, I don't know. People have been asking me about that little altercation that he had with pork. So I thought I'd do a video about it. You know, it's kind of like Chris Eubank Jr., you know, with Liam Williams. You know, Chris Eubank Jr., about a year ago, he was saying like, oh, I've never heard of Liam Williams. I don't know who he is. I've never heard of him. I don't know who he is. Who is he? Like, who is he? I've never heard of him. But then a few months later, he said that people kept tweeting him about Liam Williams, saying, fight Liam Williams. Fight Liam Williams. Why are you avoiding Liam Williams? So Eubank said, because people kept asking him on Twitter to fight Liam Williams. Eubank said that, he decided to get in there with Liam Williams. You know, fuck him up and just finish him. So people would stop asking him questions about fighting Liam Williams. So that's what Eubank said, didn't it? So that's kind of the same with this little fucking Muppet here. You know, this Michael James Apollo Jackson, this little suspect little fucker. You know, because people have been messaging me for the past two days asking me to do a video about this little fucking creep. 
I thought I'd do a little video about it, but it's a bit of a step backwards, isn't it? It's a bit of a fucking step backwards. It's a bit of a step down, isn't it? But Yeah, fuck it, I don't mind. I'm gonna wrap it up anyway, but thanks for watching, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs>